Um, hello, everybody. Can you hear or see me? If somebody could please drop me a line in the comments if I am visible and audible. Hi, yes, hi to everybody who is writing to me so that I can see the note from Parsh that yes, we see you. And do we hear me? Muchi, it's a dusha. I understand. Uh, so, Am I audible like this? How is the sound? How is the sound, dear friends? Hello, hello, hello to everybody. Yes, the sound is good. Okay, let me put in a headset just in case. My apologies for a delay. We try to do it while the phone thinking that the quality would be better and we ended up not being able to connect for some reason here the video uh where does this is right okay uh if somebody could please tell me if the audio here is better like this hello from hong kong yes very special hello we just came back from there and it was a wonderful trip and a great experience to meet so many hong kong as guardians hello from turkey Yes, hello to Turkey. Hello, everybody. It's a great pleasure to be here with you. It's a better quality sound. Okay, good and clear. Excellent. So I have a headset. We can still hear you clearly. Okay, guys, then I consider that I'm all set up. And um, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to be here today. I will say a few words to brief you about what happened over the last week, and then I will take questions. Please understand that since I'm here alone uh, taking the call here, if I miss something, mm, please don't take it personally. We'll do our best to follow up afterwards when this live recording is over. So last week, Asgardia held a press conference in Hong Kong where Dr. Ashur Bailey, supported by Professor Ram Jahu, the head of Aerospace Law School at McGill University, and uh, Jeffrey Manber, co-founder and chief executive officer of Nanorex, held a press conference where Asgardia announced the launch of the first Asgardia satellite. The first Asgardia satellite will be launched coming fall. It will be a what is called CubeSat nano satellite, and it will carry the database of all Asgardians who have chosen to support Asgardian constitution. The details who gets which amount of data allocation are published on Asgardia.space website. And once the voting is done, each individual who has participated and completed the voting is entitled to post the data of the personal choice to the pro personal profile from where it will go into the database, and that would be downloaded onto the Asgardia 1 satellite. Once in space, this satellite will be virtually taking you into space. When the spacecraft launches, in about eight minutes from the moment of the launch, the spacecraft goes beyond the Earth atmosphere. So eight minutes after the takeoff of the vehicle, you virtually are going to be living in space for as long as Asgardia exists. And this means forever. During the space flight, the satellite will be sending us life status data. So every two weeks, every three weeks, we on Earth will be able to verify that Asgardia satellite is doing well and working according to its plans, and we will be able to synchronize the data. So it means that if during the flight you decide to upgrade what you store, you are perfectly entitled to do so. You just have to do it on time, every couple of weeks. The next Asgardia satellites or these satellite constellations will be launched later, maybe in 2018, maybe a little bit later. And this, in any case, will overlap with the operation period of Asgardia 1 satellite. And the database will always be transferred. So Asgardia guarantees to all the Asgardians that their data will forever be in space from, so from this autumn, from the moment of the launch onwards, plus eight minutes, 
all us guardians will go into space. Now, uh, what does it take to provide your data? One needs to vote for the constitution and to participate in the selection of the flag, insignia and the anthem of Asgardia. In order to vote, uh, you need to log in uh, to your profile or register if you have not been with Asgardia before. Take your time, read the constitution. We are very well aware of the fact that there have been some technical difficulties. That's okay. The website has been refurbished, relaunched brand new. It will be growing further and further. So some technical difficulties are normal to have. We're very well aware that there have been some difficulties reaching the site and please do not be worried about that. The voting opportunities will remain available for at least several days or at least for as long as we're hearing that somebody in, in the community still needs to take more time to be familiar with the Constitution. Currently Constitution is published in English. Uh, it is also not only in PDF but in HTML version so it's possible very easily to run a Google Translate on it. In the meantime we are preparing the versions in uh, the same languages which were published for the draft in order to uh, make it easier also for the populations with a lot of speakers to read the constitution in the languages. And anyway, please go ahead and run Google Translate on the English HTML version. The quality is very decent. You can have a very good idea of uh, how the uh, constitution looks like. I will try um, Rebecca, hi. come on, uh, <laughs> I'm reading comments now, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I have received a document prior to uh, launching uh, the uh, website. I now will go back to that document which I have received earlier. Let me find it, sorry I'm a bit slow with these things. <laughs> Where do I find that document? Hang on, just one second, excuse me, please. Um, there are some questions uh, which have been posted up front. Um, and um, the moment the page downloads, I will go through those questions. And um, let me, in the meantime, scroll up. Um, oh, this goes fast. Uh, do we have a tool uh, to track the satellite around the Earth? We will, yes. Uh, all the satellites which are launched officially, they are entering automatically a database where the tracking is available. You can already now, if you like, to get to know how this works, go to... Uh, okay, I, I think I'm back on. I had for a moment a drop line thing. Um, so you can go to the website heavensabove.com and there you can see how the tracking works. You can uh, download the application which is called Night Tools, Night Sky Tools. And there you can see how, let me see, it's called ISS Tracker and Night yeah, ISS track and night sky tools. You can see how the tracking of the satellites is available. And yes, once it's deployed, Asgardia 1 satellite will be trackable. Just to clarify again, it will be launched on a cargo vehicle which goes to the International Space Station. It will stay as a part of the International Space Station assembly for a period of time, maybe a couple of months. And then once de-docked, the vehicle still has an autonomous research function to perform. And one of the tasks there is to deploy a number of satellites, of which Asgardia 1 is also a satellite on board as a payload of the cargo vehicle. So yes, once deployed, it will be trackable. Uh, is science a principle of Asgardia? Asgardia is a country of startups, and indeed science is at close at its heart, yes. And hairstylist for everyone. I am personally very much in support of that motto. You know that in weightlessness, hair goes like this. So it's by far bigger than what I have now. Um, 
is a Asgardia focused on fairness? Why is it monarchy? Greatest democracies in the world are monarchies. If you look at the United, <coughs> excuse me, at the United Kingdom, uh, to which um, Canada and Australia are still subjects, Sweden, uh, Norway, Liechtenstein, Monaco, Netherlands, Belgium, all those countries are monarchies. It seems to be some perceptive misconception uh, that constitutional monarchy is a bad thing. If you look at the Netherlands, the official title is Kingdom of the Netherlands. I don't think anybody here would uh, disagree if I say that the Netherlands is one of the most liberal countries in the world, which sets the humanistic trends to everybody, pretty much, not only in Europe, but in the world. So I hope that clarifies the issue of the monarchy. Uh, what's about the satellite? Uh, this, uh, what about the satellite? Well, we spoke about the satellite. Please watch the uh, replay when we're finished. When will we go into space? We expect that uh, within in the under 10 years, in our current plans, in eight years, the first flights, human flights, uh, towards Asgardia platform will be available. Again, realistically, as probably many of you know, flying to space uh, typically has some delays. So uh, if it will be in more than 10 years, don't hold it against me. But we are setting down very realistic plans when we are talking uh, about uh, the flight in the coming under decade. So let me go back to the list of questions which was also sent in advance. When was the vision first born? Dr. Shurbeli is um, a thinker and a visionary who has been uh, contemplating Asgardia as an independent first space country for as long as he lives, pretty much. So when it, if you ask uh, when did we start working on it, that's been about a year probably before it was announced. But in terms of the essence, when the idea came to life, that was many years ago when Dr. Shurbeli brought it to fruition and offered it for mature implementation once he felt that he has the entire picture in his head. Uh, what will the leaders do to improve the public image of Asgardia? Well, it's up to the leaders. Eh? Uh, this is the whole point of democracy. It is up to everybody to present his own program and to demonstrate to his fellow Asgardians that uh, being a leader of the proposed uh, program is a good thing to be or vote for somebody else. That's, it's exactly why the leadership selection is set up the way it is. You would see on our website that you can choose the levels A, B, C, and D, and anybody can present themselves for levels A and B, and then to prove to the others that th what you stand for is worth voting for and be representative. It's entirely up to you, and that's the whole point of democracy. Uh, what is the plan how to become recognized state in UN? Uh, the plan is uh, two steps. The easiest to explain is to talk about the history of uh, the state of Israel. Uh, they basically became they are a nation who declared themselves state. And the way Israel went about it, they have reached uh, mutual recognition on bilateral level with a number of states. And once a number of mutual recognitions have been achieved, then Israel became member of the United Nations. Still nowadays, not everybody recognizes Israel as, as a state. And nevertheless, it's a powerful state who is a member of the United Nations. So once the elections are held, once the government is in place and the Minister of Foreign Affairs is appointed, all this we hope by early next year, the one of the priorities would be for the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the team to start negotiating with the earthly countries about bilateral mutual recognitions. And from then on, we will accumulate the knowledge and the understanding how uh, to go about it once many mutual recognitions are achieved. Is there actually a space station? 
at this very moment, no, at this very moment there is an international space station of America, Russia, Japan, Canada and Europe. At the moment there is a space station by Chinese Space Agency, but uh, so yes, there are space stations in the world, but these are not Asgardia. Asgardia, we don't call it space station, we will call it habitable platform because there are principal differences between the current space stations and how Asgardia habitable platform would be. Um, seated. Uh, will citizenship to Asgardia at any point harm citizenship standings to other nations? While Asgardia may recognize dual citizenship, many nations do not. Uh, if I understand correctly what is meant, what would be the status of the citizenship on Earth uh, if a person gets Asgardian citizenship? First of all, uh, please be clear about what is citizenship. So far, everybody who would have voted for the Constitution, up to the first one and a half million people, are entitled to be citizens without any further formalities, apart from proving themselves to be real people with legitimate identification. Uh, but they are not, you're not obliged to collect passport. So the right to be a citizen and the privileges of being involved because you support the Constitution, they do not obligate you to go through the whole procedure. It's like you live in the U.S., you have a green card, but it doesn't mean you're a citizen. You are, probably you can become, but you don't have to. And still you are entitled to lots of things. Uh, secondly, Asgardia uh, is... Uh, going to have bilateral agreements by which, again, it's going to emphasize the um, free nature, the first unique nature of the space uh, state, which is totally different in its uniqueness to the other citizenship on Earth. So that will be entirely up to the ministries of foreign affairs to achieve this agreement, but this is already in the Constitution, and Asgardia, when it comes to the next legislative level, will be working to implement it. What about taxes? Um, there will be businesses within the jurisdiction of Asgardia, and of course, once the businesses are run, the businesses within the jurisdiction and enjoying the infrastructure and benefits of Asgardia will also be liable for taxes of Asgardia. There will be taxes probably on the banking uh, transactions in the Asgardian national currency, Solar, as um, it is named in the Constitution. However, personal taxes, individual income taxes, are going to be voluntary. This is the first time in human history that nation is offering its citizens to select themselves which kind of personal taxes they want to pay. Uh, do we have a time scale for the project? Well, we have the launch of the first satellite, which will be this autumn. There will be more satellite launches, constellation launches in 2018-19. And in parallel, there are tests ongoing for the other platforms, for the other satellites. Uh, how does Asgardia want to protect the Earth only with a network of satellites? Well, it's bigger than that. Um, it would require a separate technical session, and I might consult with my colleagues if there is a big demand to have a more detailed technical discussion. But, uh, of course, uh, satellites uh, can be very different. So everything which flies around the Earth is a satellite. Uh, so, indeed, the network of satellites can provide data. This data is connected to the ground segment. The ground segment can be um, doing some preventing maneuvers to shield certain areas of the Earth. It's an infinite discussion. It's a huge infinite discussion. Um, uh, Asgardia leadership. There is a complicated question, but I believe it boils down to the question how the leadership selection works. Again, pure democracy, bottom-up approach. We are all living in the uh, virtual world. And in this virtual world, yet we are united as a nation uh, of people who are brought together, drawn together by certain ideals, by a certain philosophy which Asgardia has behind it. And in order to move forward, in order to exercise democratic governance, 
people as guardians need to know each other. That's why one of the core tools on the website is the map. If you go to the map, you can see that uh, the computer your phone or the phone, wherever you logged in, is asking you to confirm your location and immediately gives you the possibility to connect uh, the uh, to people in your geographic location because this is natural to get to know people whom you also can meet live. For example, after our meeting in Hong Kong last week, uh, there has been an initiative to start using Meetup software and uh, to get live meetings to see what can be done locally. And I'm really looking forward to hear how Hong Kong Asgardia community is advancing and I hope the experience would uh, serve as a prototype to many people who want to uh, also be involved locally with us guardians. Second, there are humans who will kill, maim and injure for fun. Undoubtedly, you hear me? Yes, I was having a message of bad connection for a minute here. So how do we safeguard as guardian population? Again, uh, as for any human population, there is a need, of course, to have legislation which safeguards the population. And in the Constitution, it is defined what will be the setup of judicial procedures, what would be the Asgardian court, and the biggest punishment in Asgardia is taking away Asgardian citizenship. and depriving of the right to be a member of Asgardia ever again. Uh, so yes, we have some tools in place, but like in every practical action, there has to be a ministry, there has to be a parliament, there has to be legislative initiative, and within its scope, there has to be practical implementation after the laws have gone through the parliament and have been accepted. Um, let me see what else has been asked. How can Asgardians get involved in helping build Asgardia outside of the government? Well, again, uh, Asgardia will be open to startup companies. So taking your business into the jurisdiction of Asgardia will help the economic growth of Asgardia. Uh, ultimately, in very simple terms, if you know that the, you need a plumber in your house and you have a plumber who is an Asgardian, it would be great if you choose to call to your earthly home for your help a neighbor who can provide a professional service and is an Asgardian, because this way you stimulate the personal well-being of a professional who works uh, in earthly environment, but also you get to know each other. So ultimately we encourage everybody to know each other locally, to connect to the community and to help make the con community of the like-minded people stronger through this communication. There have been questions about pets. Well, you live on earth where you live and you love your pet. I, I love dogs, so I'm all with you on this. And I would be the first one to say that I would never leave my dog behind. So about space, we are very, very far away from flying dogs to space as part of Companions of Permanent Life and the space station. But again, this is not a question of the next 10 years. So you are safe together with your dog or your cat or your little parrot. So we are all for animal rights. It's just at this very moment, this is a far away issue. How does a human permanently relocate to a settlement on another planet and takes a dog? This is too far away, so I wouldn't be worried about it. Because the first flights to Asgardia platform, there will be flights like you go on holidays. I'm sure you find a solution for your dog to stay uh, with your friends, with your neighbors in a dog hotel for two, three weeks if you have to travel. So the early Asgardian human flights would have similar implications for your pet. The pet would not go with you on holidays for two or three weeks to Asgardia. Who is supporting the project? Uh, supporting in which sense? Financially, at the moment, everything is funded privately by Dr. Shurbeli. Uh, we hope that from, and we're working towards it, that from the 1st of January 2018, 
there will be a budget published and it will be clear how the revenue stream goes and how the economy runs itself. But until this moment, not a single penny had been spent beyond private investment from Dr. Ashurbeli. Hello from India and hello to you in India. Okay, how do I scroll further up? Lack of complete legislation will be taken advantage of with no jurisdiction in space. Well, quite opposite. It's a question, how do you look at it, of course. That's the whole premise of it. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 is that old. It's from 1967. And at the moment, countries who are space-faring nations, they are uh, taking... Uh, individual steps, sometimes uncoordinated, so nobody, nobody can uh, he hear, uh, sorry, some strange sounds coming through. Uh, so it, it's actually, there is a risk of Wild West developing in the uh, space domain. And yes, that's one of the g goals of Asgardia, to uh, streamlined and to bring together the whole notion of what life in space is and how a space nation can be a prototype of the future humanity by setting forth the legislation which makes it peaceful and protective and equal for all the human beings and opening the universe, the space research and the space opportunities to all the people from all the countries on Earth, while today they are predominantly open to those people from about 20 nations who do have direct access to space. The one of the key philosophical premises of Asgardia is that space is for every human being, for every Earthling. Um, Referring back to encouraging Asgardian businesses to be used by Asgardians, would it be useful to have an Asgardian business directory which lists all businesses as well as their locations around the globe? I personally love this idea, but again, I would encourage the community to put this forward. We will be very happy to provide the location on the website, which is available to all the registered Asgardians, so the information can be used please go ahead and coordinate it with the local leaders whom you are electing right now. So this kind of information is provided and made available. At least yourself, initiated bottom-up. And uh, we in Asgardia certainly will gladly make an integration of this list and encourage everybody to take it with you. Also, if you travel around the world, if you want to meet the other fellow Asgardians, if you want to stay over at each other's place when you not only just go around but want to talk about Asgardia business and you want to host people in your house. Uh, we were thinking that maybe the community would like that. Uh, we will provide space on our websites to help Asgardians connect on all the subjects they find interesting to discuss. So please go ahead and initiate it. Business director is a brilliant idea. Yes, I think so too. Uh, is there any plan to avail healthcare facility for all Asgardians? No, at this point, uh, there have not been any plans to uh, make uh, healthcare facilities. Uh, maybe it's there in the far future, but so far we are not building roads, we are not uh, developing transport <laughs> cars. There is no medical care. This is something which might happen in the future. Um, hello from Pakistan. And hello to you in Pakistan. Please speak Turkish. Sorry, I don't speak Turkish. Sorry about that. Um, Daniel Williamson will get to work on it. That would be wonderful. Please, Daniel, do go ahead. And it would be great if you work with Civic Asgardia about on this. Uh, will my children, uh, if and when they are born, be as guardian? Absolutely, yes. In line with the Constitution, you will see there is an article which explicitly explains who is an Asgardian. So if a parent or both parents are as guardians, indeed, this allows children to be as guardians automatically. 
by birth. Uh, wouldn't it be a good idea if we as guardians who can't move in the upcoming space city could pay our place once we are there by working for the nation? Because if it is too expensive and we can't pay it, even if though we know we're going to be useful. It's a bit too early to talk about this, Alex, I'm sorry. It's uh, The economic model will be more clear next year and closer to the date of human launches high from Germany and from Washington. Uh, hi to you too. Uh, thank you for being with us about uh, the plans for educational system. There are plans, but again, there will be a Ministry of Youth Affairs and Education uh, will be addressed in between the Youth Affairs and the Ministry of Science. How do we plan to power the cities in space? Well, the space station itself, of course, will be an autonomous, fully supplied system. And uh, when we get to citizen space, this is again more than a decade away by then. I'm sure there will be technologies which would be good to discuss. Um, allowed to give birth on board. Well, I don't see the reasons to prohibit it, but I would caution one against it until the proper medical staff and facilities are available. Uh, will we be able to work at earthly headquarters in Vienna? Well, the headquarters at the moment is a small uh, office which uh, is there to run all the affairs, but we're all teleworking. Like I'm personally living in Germany, I just happen to be traveling still right now. All our staff is teleworking, so the baseline for the government operation is teleworking. Hello from Morocco and Colombia. Hello to you all. Great to have you here. Pets allowed. We discussed it. Uh, the facility with artificial gravity with uh, long-term settlements are some decades away, I would say. So we will talk about pets when we get there. The early flights will be short-term and leaving your pet behind, it's the same like if you go on holidays to Barbados. Um, if Asgardia is a virtual nation, why are there arbitrary geographic limits placed on voting? Not sure I understand what this means. If you're talking about voting for constitution and everything which is voted today, it's the same for everybody. Uh, how many people can live in Asgard? Is there a limit to population? Uh, when the habitable platforms are there, that will be more clear to discuss in terms of joining now. Asgardia is free for everybody to join, but only up to the first one and a half million will receive free possibility forever and ever to have their data submitted for storage in space. So as you would find on our website, asgardia.space, the people who have registered in Asgardia with an identification number under 100,000 have uh, 500 kilobytes of data, and then the next 400,000 of users get uh, 200 kilobytes of data, and then the next million after that gets 100 kilobytes of data. And that's the only time in history when this is offered for free and forever and ever to come. So there is no limit how many people would be able to apply but there is a limit uh, who will be able to provide data for free. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not just waiting around for someone else to make a platform to use their idea. Uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm not going to respond to that. When do we go? Uh, when do we go where? To space? Like I said earlier, in our timeline, the habitable platform is expected to be in eight years. And again, being realistic, there are always some slips in building uh, space launches and space platforms. So we're talking under a decade, around a decade. Are regional leaders allowed to have offices in their different countries? Yes, indeed, it is expected that everybody works out of his own country. Are you planning on issuing passports and will we be able to travel on the earth with them? That's exactly the purpose. Indeed, Asgardia is working to get recognized on bilateral level with the other nations. And ultimately, the goal is that the citizens of Asgardia, the holders of the Asgardian passport, are able to travel internationally on Earth. That's the goal we're working towards. Uh, 
how can we contribute to progress in the development of the current projects of Asgard? Uh, Yeah, reconnected. Excellent. So how to contribute? Um, help building the community, help maintaining the community. Spreading the information is extremely important. We're doing our best to run the Facebook pages and the blog-based discussions on the new website. And yet clearly many people stay off the grid and do not connect to us online. So connect to your friends who are already as guardian, encourage them to come and vote because in order to progress, we need to be sure that all of you as guardians are behind what we're proposing. There have been comments about the imperfection of the current constitution. Yes, probably there are imperfections. But constitution later can be upgraded. The constitution itself contains the uh, clauses which allow to make updates. So the call upon everyone is to vote for the constitution which is presented and that constitution would allow you, the community, put forward the petitions, make the proposals, call the voting of the referenda to make changes in the constitution. The constitutional process is there. That's the most important thing, to get going, to be a community, not just which gathered around an unusual idea online, but to be a community united around the legitimate idea with prescribed goals supported and laid forward in the Constitution. Actually, it shows that we have 42 kilobytes of data left, but when I click on Upload Files, it resets to 200. Is this a bug? It might be there are a bunch of bugs, we are aware of them, and um, we will be uh, implementing them, uh, correcting them. So just be sure that if you are uh, applied between 100,001 and the next 400,000 people, you are aware uh, that you are entitled to 200 kilobytes. Nikari, I'm proud to help out the community to organize. Yes, indeed, we have a lot of fantastic people who are volunteering a lot of their time to making the community work, and without you guys, this would not be happening. It's incredible how many people came forward very soon after Asgardia was launched. Uh, Gruß aus Hamburg, Gruß to you too. I actually don't speak much German. <laughs> Germany is my temporary residence. Um, so yes, the volunteer community is incredible, and the fact that it is self-organizing under the leadership of a core group makes it all worth it, and also gives a lot of encouragement to us in the official capacity. Uh, believe that uh, it is the right thing. So many people are responding positively and bring their knowledge and wisdom and expertise to making it work. Um, Ap applying by any means, getting my ID or just signing up. So if you go to the website and say join, you will have to provide some data, go through verification process, click submit. As a result of submitting, you will get a certificate of Asgardia, which will give you a personal certificate of Asgardia number. And once you are there, it will take you further where you can vote for the constitution. And once you adopted the constitution, you have the right to participate in the selection of the flag insignia and anthem. Them. Uh, and uh, once this is done, a person, an Asgardian, is entitled to an Asgardian ID, which will be issued later. This will be a proper identification document, like a plastic card, like a credit card, or your national ID, which you might have. And uh, this also will be your banking card. Uh, we are looking to set up cryptocurrency and well, some months later we will give a detailed update on how cryptocurrency will be operated. So yes, please keep your personal Asgardian certificate number and your full name in a quiet place because these two entries together give unique identification of who you are and helps you receive all the services Asgardia will provide. And. Uh, uh, well, uh, hang in there. It will take a little bit more time, but basically, yes, identification is something, and a plastic card with all the encrypted information will be available once certain formalities are 
uh, completed and the people, the first one and a half million people who now vote in support of adopting the constitution are already eligible for Asgardian citizenship if they choose to collect it. It's not an obligation, but that's the right. In the future, other people will have to go through more steps. The only thing is, in order to receive the ID, of course, the person will have to present uh, him or herself to show legitimate document and to identify themselves in person. Because we're taking very seriously that uh, it's all true, transparent, honest, and uh, fully protected and guaranteed. Uh, I love this concept, very powerful and direct. Thank you, it's very nice to hear. Uh, why is voting for debutant strategies then trans set geographically limited if Asgardia is virtual? Why wasn't the website better tested prior to launch? Well, it's geographically not limited, it's geographically um, encouraged. In order to get representation, one needs to know people around uh, himself. That's the whole point. Uh, it's uh, how the communities grow because uh, it will still, it's a fact of life that one would most likely, 98%, 95% of people will most likely stay living in their home, uh, uh, town, home, village, home country. So the reality of operation would remain. Uh, the representation is happening on the local level. The local is where one lives. We are the future. Yes, we are. How can I learn if I'm the citizen of Asgardia? Please check your personal profile. In your personal profile, if you completed the second level of verification, there should be a certificate of Asgardia. And at this stage, you are welcome to come to the third level. In order to achieve that, you need to adopt the constitution and take part in the rest of the voting, for which formal day is today, but it will remain open until everybody has had a chance to comfortably familiarize themselves with the Constitution. When will the flag, the anthem, etc. be announced? Well, um, after the uh, voting process is over, plus the final endorsement of the national symbols will be by the Parliament. So what we do now is a popular vote. The contests which were posted online were the contests where voting was also offered, and this was also popular voting. Uh, so now, as you know, the 12 entries which are in the uh, voting um, template are four of the popular vote, and four are the choice of the head of nation, and four are the choice of the expert council. So those 12 are mixed, and again, it's a question of the popular vote those will be proposed uh, upon the results of the voting, but the final nomination would be later. На русском языке, пожалуйста, тоже. Well, Asgardia operates in English, and we are grateful to all the volunteers who propose uh, to translate into their own languages, but for now, at the moment, we are only able to offer full uh, information delivery in English. Is Igor going to visit other countries soon? Regards from Finland. Hello, dear friends in Finland. Um, there will be every time when there is a major event, major news to announce, the event will be hosted in another country. But this will happen only every few months, most likely, just knowing how the planning goes. Uh, so. Um, I'm not sure when the next event will take place. Most likely in autumn it would be a good period. Another six months would have gone by, and it will be in yet another country indeed. Mm. Is this Scientology for poor people? Not at all. Not at all, but it was a nice joke. How long will voting stay open? A voting will stay open um, at least until the end of June, more likely later. There have been technical problems. We are very aware of it. We also are aware of the fact that people want to take time to familiarize themselves with the text of the Constitution. 
and uh, it's an effort, it's a text which written by lawyers, edited by lawyers, translated, so this is not easy and we are very grateful to everybody who is taking time and takes very seriously what we are doing. We certainly are putting a lot of effort into this and the work is done very seriously with an involvement of many experts. So we are providing all the opportunities for everybody who wants to be involved, to take time to get familiar with the documents and to vote. So it will stay open for as long as there is a demand from the community to take the time and read the documents properly and vote. How can we improve our chances of being chosen into the community that will first join Asgardia? Everybody is free to join Asgardia. There is no limitation at this point. Uh, so I'm not sure I understand the question. Uh, I can see here the messages that a few people have shared the video and let them know you appreciate it. Yes, guys, I absolutely appreciate it. It's only through your initiative and passion and uh, contribution that Asgardia can only succeed. Um, does that mean that if someone abstained from voting, he or she is no longer a citizen, even if we have an ID number? Let me clarify once again. Uh, the people who have ID numbers, it's level two verification, they have it forever. Once you're on level two, you are a verified Asgardian, you are a verified as guardian, but this is not citizenship. It's what we've always said. This is certified as guardian. It's a member of as guardian community, and that will stay there forever. But just let's be realistic. If you come to another country, be it Canada, USA, England, well, I'm not familiar with the East, but I dare say it's the same. If one enters a new country and says, I want to become your citizen, in most countries, there are procedures, and once a person goes through these procedures, the person can become a citizen. And by going through the procedures, I'm sure in every country, one has to adopt the Constitution and to commit to obeying the Constitution and the laws of the country. And then one becomes a citizen. It's exactly the same situation here. We, as Guardia, the first ever in human history space nation, are working towards being recognized as a state, towards becoming a country, the first country in space. And there is a constitution. So if the constitution is something you like and want to adopt, by all means, come along, go ahead, let's become the third level as Guardian, and this third level entitles one to become a citizen. If one does not like the Constitution and doesn't morally agree with what's written here, this is perfectly fine. It's a free world and everybody is free to stay on the second level and be involved in the community affairs on the second level. It's open, you're registered as guardian. But if you do not agree with the Constitution, it's your choice. How can you be possibly willing to be a citizen of a country with which Constitution you do not agree? It's up to you to decide. And do bear in mind when you make this decision for the rest of your life that constitution is a living document and it adapts with the evolution of the society. So even if there is something at this moment which you rather have different, please consider that maybe it's actually your choice and your opportunity to join to support the constitution and then to initiate the uh, petition which might lead to a referendum set up and the constitution one day may be changed. But again, this is your personal choice. More people shared the video. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, you are part of the elite. I'm not sure I understand the question. Sorry. Can Asgardian live and work in whole Europe? Um, Asgardian today can live and work wherever they are entitled to live and work by their earthly situation. Asgardia welcomes everybody as long as the person uh, shares in the vision and the philosophy. Can we buy stock and will the first 100,000 have preference? Uh, Asgardia AG is registered and it will start trading again once uh, everything is um, set up Le uh, legally. Already the entity which allows uh, trading stock um, it's already up and running. It will just take till late autumn or till winter until some practicalities 
I'm placed. Hello, I'm Jeffy. Hello, Jeffy. Uh, can we invest into Asgardia? Yes, Asgardia AG will have opportunities for buying stock, which effectively is an investment into Asgardia. Um, excellent answer on citizenship. Thank you. You are welcome, Josie. I'm glad I make sense. Uh, what's the point to become an Asgardian? Who created the constitution? Could we vote politics rules? Is there any democratic system? Point to become an Asgardian is if you read the concept and you share in the vision and the philosophy, you find many people who think the same way as you do. I personally find this day and age that finding people of your mindset is a treat. So it's what I'm hearing from many people, many Asgardians I talk to in person, that they are grateful to have met the new community. And then it's, of course, everybody's personal decision. Who created the Constitution? A bunch of experts from various countries. Ram Jahu, who was in the uh, panel with Dr. Shurbeli in the press conference, uh, then the uh, expert legal team in Russia, expert legal team in Austria, they all have worked on developing the Constitution. Uh, will Asgardia have a virtual currency like a Bitcoin? Mandy, you have not read the Constitution. It's described in there. There will be virtual currency and it will be called Solar. When will Asgardia spaceship be constructed and when will it start and where? Again, Asgardia is not a spaceship. Asgardia habitable platform will be a settled platform. How exactly transportation will take place is uh, another matter. This is the subject for our later conversation. Um, can we start local events for Asgardia believers and interested people? Yes, Jeffy Rene, yes, by all means, please do go ahead and start local events. This is exactly what the selection of level 1A uh, leaders are about. It's about bringing together people who are interested and willing to merge the community, to bring them together. If there are major events which are initiated by the community, if at least 100 people want to meet and the local community wants to self-organize and make this live meeting, uh, we will look for ways to support it. I will certainly find a way to come and join this event and be able to answer hopefully most of your questions. So yes, please do go ahead, meet your local Asgardian fellow uh, countrymen and women and do put forward events if you want to have them and be in touch with Civic Asgardia and uh, discuss your initiatives. We are very welcoming and very willing to support the initiatives of the local communities. Uh, hello, yes, hello. Mm. Uh, yes, events department and Civic, yes, Nikari, thank you for putting in correct detail to what I said. Um, why did you choose a medieval system like monarchy? Seems outdated and not futuristic. That we have already talked about it. This is one of the points of view. The reality is if we look at the most democratic advanced countries in Europe, and I believe everybody here would agree that Europe is doing well on democracy and uh, uh, human values, we will see that countries like Belgium, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein, Monaco, Sweden are very advanced uh, modern democracies. So, and constitutional monarchy is doing well there. Uh, let me see which more questions. Uh, so guys, the questions, uh, I believe we addressed most of the questions which came up in advance and what I see now uh, is repeating itself in a way. So I would suggest that we uh, wrap it up. And um, I thank you very much for being here with us. I hope there are more questions which you will prepare to for the next events. Um, please discuss it with your moderators in your local communities. Please discuss it with Civic Asgardia if you like this form format of interaction. If this was good, if you enjoyed it, if you think it makes sense, uh, let's do it more often. Let's maybe set up a regular schedule. There's been a little glitch at the beginning with getting the video running, but apart from that, I find that this is quite easy 
and the pragmatic solution for talking to each other. I hope it was interesting for all of you who stayed online with us for this whole one hour. And, um, well, thank you very much. And uh, uh, please be in touch with your local representatives, with the moderators for your national pages. Give feedback if you liked it, if you want to do this again. And if you do, I promise uh, we will find a solution that then we will do it again on a regular basis. And uh, then... Uh and good day, good night, good morning, wherever you are. Thank you for being with us.